What is going on guys, it's Modern Warfare here, welcome back to another episode of JTAG and RGH Tutorials, the updated series. So in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can basically install your games to the hard drive from a game disc. This is something I wasn't intentionally going to put as part of this tutorial series, but I got quite a few questions on the installing games um, video where we downloaded a game from the internet and installed it to the hard drive. If you want to watch that video, it will be linked at the end of this one. As, or it's in the playlist and uh, a lot of you are wondering well what if I have if I already own the game what if I have a, a disc copy of the game and I want to install that to the hard drive so I can just run it off the hard drive and there are a few different ways that you can do this now my disc drive in my Xbox is pretty fucked it's it's kind of screwed up um, so I'm not sure how well this is going to go for me but if you follow along, you will learn how you can how you can do this. So first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and open my disc tray. At least that works. And I'm going to put in a game. I've got Dead Island Game of the Year Edition. I'm going to pop that in just as an example and wait for this to spin up. So when it's installed to the hard drive, not only do you not have to have the disc uh, inserted in order to play the game, but you can also modify the game files. So if you want to install like a mod menu or something, or you know some mods for the game, then it's you know it, you can do that when it's installed to the hard drive because you can change the files on the hard drive, whereas the files on the disc are read only. So first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you how you can do this in Aurora. So take me to Aurora, and here we are on Aurora. So you can use Aurora's file manager to copy game discs to the hard drive. To do this, you're going to want to press back to go into system and then select file manager. Now this file manager is a bit weird to use, but once you have a disk inserted, you should see in your drives, you should have DVD showing up. So I'm going to select DVD. And this is all the game files that are on the disk. They are read only, but you can uh, read, read them and copy them to another location. So what we're going to do is press X to select. And you just want to select every single file in here. So all the game files and folders, select them all. And then you want to go to the left and scroll down to the copy option down here. You're going to select A to copy. And there you go. All five files are queued for copy. And then what you want to do is you can just uh, basically press B to go up directory, which will take you out. Now, this is, is a bit laggy. There we go. So it goes up directory, then go to your hard drive or wherever you want to copy the game to. So I'm going to go into my games folder. And I've got this folder called test right here that I'm going to go ahead and copy the files to. So I'm going to go into this directory and then select the paste option, which is the bottom option right here. Press A to paste. Five items. Yes. And then you should hear your disk drive start to spin up. There we go. My disk drive is spinning up. It sounds like it's dying. So it's probably not going to copy the files. Oh, no. There we go. It's It's trying at least. So as you can see, it starts to copy the files. God, my disk drive sounds bad. I swear it's about to like die or blow up or something. But anyway, it's <laughs> if your disk drive is fine, uh, a normal working disk drive, then it's going to start copying all the files from the disk to the hard drive. And once you have all the, the game files copied over, you can just go ahead and start the game from the hard drive to make sure that it runs. If it runs, great. If you get a game error, then it's probably because maybe you have a scratched or damaged disk or your disk drive isn't great. Um, in which case, you can try copying each file individually. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, guys, so this is almost done. Um, I decided to let it copy the whole game just to see if it'll work with my screwed up disk drive. 100%. Uh, okay, there we go. So these files are now all on the hard drive in the folder called test. And we can try go go ahead and run them now. So one way to run them, I didn't actually show this, but you can instead of having to go to XX menu, you can also run them from the file browser on here um, on uh, Aurora. So I can just go to Games, Test, and then there's the default.xcx. Uh, is that the only two folders? I guess it is. Let's try launching it. Don't know if this is going to work. It could give me an error. Nope, it's running. So that, there you go, it's running from the hard drive. My disk drive is spun down, it's not running from the disk. This is the game running from the hard drive right here. So, there you go, that's how you can copy it to the hard drive. Now I'm just going to show you guys 
how to um, go ahead and copy it in other ways because it can be different. Sometimes it'll work with Aurora, sometimes it won't. Sometimes you might have to copy each file individually. Sometimes you can use XEX menu. So there's different ways that you can you can copy things. So, okay, so let's go ahead and go to games. And I'm gonna make a new folder in here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Just call this test two, just now. Wow, can't spell. That's great, test two. And then in test two, we're gonna try and do it using XEX menu. So there's two ways you can do it in XEX menu. You can either copy each individual file. Uh, to do that, you just press X and you go to DVD and then all the files that are on the disk drive will show up. And then you can just, you know, press Y, press A to copy the first one, press X, go to the hard drive, and then go into the, your game folder and paste it. So you can do it this way manually copying and pasting each file, but some games have hundreds of files, so this is really not an efficient way of doing it, but you can do it that way um, if you're really desperate and you're not able to do it any other way. Um, or there's also this option, if you scroll further down, called Copy DVD when you press Y. Um, so you want to go into the folder that you want to copy the game to, then you want to press Y and press Copy DVD. Now it will eject your disc, so what you want to do is manually push the tray back in um, or press the eject button to, to put it back in and then press confirm once the disk uh, tray closes and the drive starts to spin up and then boom there we go so is it going to do it sometimes this fails nope it's doing it there we go so it's copying all the files from the disk to that folder just like um, what we did in Aurora basically Except you could argue that this one's maybe a bit easier, but again, it doesn't always work. Sometimes you'll click confirm and it will just fail to start copying and you have to try and do it a few times. So again, it's always a bit sketchy when you're copying files from the disk to the hard drive, but that's another way of doing it inside XEX menu. So that is basically how you copy a game disk to the hard drive. One other thing that I might just show you really quickly in the next video, we're going to be looking at Xbox 360 Neighborhood. So if you already have Xbox 360 Neighborhood installed, I'll just quickly show you that on Xbox 360 Neighborhood, you're, if you have a DVD inserted, it will show up in here as Volume DVD, and then all the game files are right here. So you can just right click and copy them all, and then just go to your hard drive on, um, go to your hard drive on your JTAG, and go to games uh, and then go to the folder you want to copy it to just delete these now and then right click and paste and then that again will also do the same thing it'll copy everything from the DVD to the hard drive but you're doing it through Xbox 360 neighborhood remotely now if you don't know what Xbox 360 neighborhood is yet don't worry that will be covered in the next video so anyway those are multiple different ways that you can copy games from the disk to the hard drive so that you can then run them off the hard drive, add them to Aurora, um, so you can launch them from Aurora in the same way we did with uh, Black Ops 2 when we downloaded the game. Um, and then you can also, of course, apply title updates in Aurora to it. And you can also, um, of course, if there's any mods or mod menus for the game, you can edit the game files to add those mod menus in as well so that you can mod the game too. So there, there you go. That is how you basically do that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.